Greetings. Today is the 21st of March, 2023, and I've decided to do a quick update because I think it's been a while since my last one. So, where do we sit? Um, Health-wise, I'm still in the loop between the doctors and the hospital uh, to have my stoma reversed, which will be four years on April the 9th since I had it done. Uh, the doctors say I'm still on the list and I've just got to wait my time. The hospital say, yes, you were definitely on the list. Um, we've just got to find the space to fit you in, even though yours is a quick op, but as to be expected, there are more important people ahead of me. So, yeah, that's still in the loop. Like I say, April the 9th, it'll be four years since I had it done. And it's been a, a long haul. Yeah, I still have my, my good days and I still have my bad days. Fortunately, now there's a lot more good days than bad days, but unfortunately, <laughs> When I've had my bad days, I've had some really bad days. A couple of weeks ago when I got a stomach bug. And a stomach bug with a hernia and an ileostomy like I've got is not fun. Because what you produce is a water. And it was literally going straight in one end and then straight back out the bag the other end. And uh, yeah, it was touch and go whether I was going to end up in hospital on a drip. But we got through it. Football-wise, um, as I sit here doing this, uh, the next trip for Northampton will be Doncaster Way, which is this Saturday, which I'm hoping to go to. And then the next one will be probably Newport County away in Good Friday, I think it is. Yeah. Oh, I haven't been to any home games because the last home game I went to for Northampton... Um, I got shoved over in the stand by a bunch of uh, lovely little la lovely lads, shall we say, and they thought it highly amusing to shove me out the way because they wanted to stand where I was. And yeah, and it triggered my hernia. And the same thing happened, as I probably said before, at... Swindon away where I was still at the back with my mate Graham and these lads just bunched in at the last minute and uh, almost sent me flying over the seats because they wanted to stand where I was and I stand in the back row because I have trouble sitting down because of the tight seats and the same thing happened at Rochdale when we went, me and Graham went they come running in at the last minute and just botched them barged us all out of the way, barged me out into the middle of the aisle and then told the stewards to get me removed because I was blocking their view. And the stewards turned around and said, uh, no, actually, you were in there. he was in there before you were. You get out. <laughs> then they are it's in there swinging from bottles of bloody beer in the back of this row. But hey-ho. Yeah, local football-wise, um, I'm still doing the cameras for the gold cams for St Ives. Uh, which is another amusing thing because last weekend they were away at Fakenham and now Fakenham normally play inside the stadium but due to uh, issues with the pitch I think they said we had to pay on one of the outside pitches which was fine because one end has got a big fence up round where the um, bowling green is so they very kindly let me into the bowling green so I could stick a camera up behind and stick the battery pack behind on a shelf the problem was the other end, which is just a wood. And I had to shin up a tree. And when you're shinning up a tree with a hernia, age 51, with a bunch of girls watching you, it's not much fun. Because they were in hysterics watching me trying to shin up this tree. But those say it, the footage come out fine. So yeah. Like I said, probably said before in the blog, I've quit coaching because after the way I got treated at Netherton stroke Yaxley, which was absolutely disgusting, because I was told in no uncertain terms, the only reason you're here is because you've got a coaching license, and I haven't. And that was the manager. And then to find out at the end of the season, after all the good work you've done, 
you were promised a ticket to the women's Euro final and then you, you find out two days before that the said chairman of the club has sold your ticket and your mate's ticket to one of his mates for a grossly inflated price. And then, then, then you get copied into all the social media about, oh yeah, what a wonderful chance people had to go to this game and they blew it. They decided not to come because we're the best club in the Peterborough area. I thought, what a load of shit. So, yeah. And I've had enormous fun with my coaching licence to get that back off them to free it up because they've been using it because one of their coaches has not got the full whack of things like I've got. So, yeah. So we had to go to North Ants FA and get that released. Which has got them fine. So, hard cheese. What else is there to say? Uh, like I say, I'm literally just sitting in the car now. So I'm just checking to make sure I'm not late back from my break. Yeah. Um, yeah, what else is there to say? Not a great deal. Um... Work seems to have improved a bit at the minute, which has improved my mental health because we were going through that horrible period of just before Christmas of strike action and I lost 18 days pay, which didn't help. And luckily if one of my uh, loan companies said, yeah, well, look, we'll just postpone, we'll just delay it for a couple of months and then you can catch up. The other one said, no, you'll continue paying what you owe. So that's caused an enormous financial strain on me, but lucky enough I managed to get my head back around it. Uh, not as well the stress of being at work with it through it all. And those who've seen the uh, select committee from the government's, shall we say, chats with the Royal Mail Board and the chairman and the CEO and whoever, will know exactly what we're up against because it's just orders, 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 do this, do that. Well, if we do that, that won't go out. Just do it, do it. Get on with it. That's the attitude they've got. So, anyway, I think that'll do. I'm going to go enjoy another four hours of bloody work, and then that's it done for the day. So, bye-bye. <laughs>